Hey, bet you didn't expect to see me here. Well, I didn't expect to see you either. So I'm gonna go put some clothes on real fast. You may have noticed something a little bit different about me. My long, flowing locks. Is that Orlando Bloom you're seeing? No, it's me. I also have a condition called cerebral palsy, which amongst other things means that I rely on man-made technology a lot. So when it comes to the great outdoors, I'm more of a look but don't touch kind of guy. As a kid, there was always this point where I'd have to be set down on a rock while my dad and my brother went off and frolicked in the wilderness. I just looked at it like a math painting or something. But that all changed when I was on a summer road trip with my friends and we heard about a mysterious cascading waterfall deep in the mystical forests of West Virginia. First, I had to ditch the chair. And luckily, my friend Josh said he had a brilliant idea for the perfect all-terrain wheelchair substitute. There were so many things that it could have been. Oh, that would have been nice. A little impractical, but I could have gotten on board with that, too. Whoa! Whoa! That just seemed way too dangerous. But I like it. But what it actually turned out to be was an old army stretcher that had been left out in the sun for like 30 years. His plan was to carry me two miles over treacherous terrain like some sort of lazy-eyed, less attractive Cleopatra. Seems simple enough, right guys? And so we passed through the map painting and the trail gave way to something I couldn't see in movies or on Instagram. The sounds of rushing water, the smell of damp earth, and sun glinting through dancing leaves. All things I'd missed out on in my narrow and limited lifestyle. It was a real adventure. Desperate for a breather, my friends set me down on the ground. But what they didn't know is they had placed the fragile canvas on a sharp rock protruding from the forest floor. What followed was a sound that made our blood curdle. Rip. 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 <laughs> Sounds like a little dog. A cute little dog. The stretcher was ruined. Torn down the middle like a, like a hastily opened bag of chips. And as I lay there in the dirt, I thought, I may never make it to this waterfall. And that was the last time I saw myself. After that, we realized that we'd have to leave the stretcher behind. And if I was going to make it to the waterfall, it would be on the backs of my friends. So I climbed aboard, and we headed to the Cascades, which by now were surely just around the corner. And then we reached our first milestone. An actual stone informing us that we'd only gone one mile. We were officially only halfway to the Cascades, but out of energy. As we struggled on, I realized why people hadn't done things like this with me before. When you grow up with a disability, a lot of people are telling you you can't do certain stuff. Oh, you can't have that job. You can't live on your own. You can't teach your monkey to smoke an entire pack of cigarettes. Well, yes, you can, and I have. So screw you, people. You guys didn't anticipate friends like Josh and Aaron and my brother Brad. They weren't ready to give up, and neither was I. And thank God they didn't, because just around the corner, we saw the Cascades in all its majesty. It was the sort of place where mermaids might swim, or you might see Robin Hood taking a bath. But we were just four dead, tired dudes. And after one final hurdle, I stuck my toes in the water, and it was cold as balls! At the waterfall, I didn't have any of the things that I'd come to rely on. But I did have my friends, and the knowledge that I was living one of the greatest experiences of my life. And then I thought, well, shit, we've got to go all the way back. <laughs>